do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe <laughs> you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? Yeah, it's to a bunch of teenagers. Us. I mean, me. <laughs> we want cheese dusted pretzels. Wow. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. <laughs> I'll cut your face off. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Daji, and today we are continuing with Killer Frequency. So sit back, relax. Grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. Let me know, guys, if you like my new setup, my new camera angle. I wanted to do something different. Um, either way, I think I'm going to keep it this way. I like how it looks. So if you also like how it looks, give me a like. Let me know. Oh, I should probably play it right. Boop. All right. Yes, Hope introduce. you enjoy this one as much as I do. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. No, it's not, this Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? Four, oh, this guy's yeah. going to kill hours half there the town in four hours. hours. Back. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Is Edward Marshall alive? Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. And he no didn't get any it. kind of punishment no for it? He just did. Okay, uh. And he's come back tonight. Um. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. Mm. And it was. Well, it was on this night, actually. Of course it would be. Why wouldn't it be? Jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. Revenge! Right, that's the story. What's the truth? Right. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight. Who could be a copycat? I don't know. <laughs> so we're screwed. Because it sounds like we're screwed. Yeah. We're not screwed. Things just aren't great right now <sighs> at least we got the word out i guess what kind of listening figures do we get at this time on a thursday after midnight mm. could be around 35 35 isn't 3500 huh i didn't realize gallows creek was that large no 35 people at best oh uh are you serious <laughs> we only have 35 listeners 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before mm. that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? Wow. We could only dream of that. Five million. Oh. Million? <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh. Take it when you're ready. Okay. okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, okay. Hello, Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? I almost turned it hello? off. Why? Why are you breathing? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Oh, no, 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 no. You know my name. Oh, that's a weak whistle. You're, you're, I you're faking. From the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, that's funny. 
Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe <laughs> you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? Yeah, it's a bunch of teenagers. Us. I, I mean, me. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Yeah, he, he definitely has the munchies, guys. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega gold. A mega gold. For anyone gold. just tuning in. We do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. There you go. Can I change? Let's see. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, oh, that's kids cool. Around you can actually change People the music. pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. What? It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Oh, no. All right. Let's do this. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta turn that off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. What's up, with caller? With me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. What? I, I dialed nine one one. I need the sheriff right away. Oh, the okay, sheriff is right. down. Well, I'm filling in for nine one one tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Okay, uh, the cops aren't coming. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Uh. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's what? actually happening. Is he walking? Uh, where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. <laughs> I just ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Okay, um... Sounds like you lost him. I think it'll be fine. Uh, is there anywhere else you can go? I don't know. Uh... Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> Look, I don't know anything about cars. Okay. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. Okay. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't... Oh, how do you have... Okay, that doesn't You're even make sense. to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and Xavier. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Uh... Sh uh, yes. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by yeah. Knife and Easy. Oh, I don't know if that was very good. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. What? Timberline Twins Talk Timberline. Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. It I asked weird. them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Okay, so let's go. Um, they said 
down the hall, but I kind of want to see what's going on around here. This place is messy! Die alone. How do I... Uh, okay. Oh! Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What's that? Is that a fly trap? I think that's a fly trap. the ominousness and why do we have a beer bottle back here okay high school wins big game okay in here. Why? What was that? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just shut that. Can I, can I open this? No, I cannot. Okay. Is it this one? So many locked doors, so few keys. hearing weird noises. Hello? Oh, this isn't ominous or spooky. Okay. Can't pick up the phone. Creepy hour. Um... Is that the tape? speed ad okay maybe I don't think that's it okay it's not over here wow okay this person is um extremely messy unless this is just their little storage space pension staff please stop putting stickers on office furniture you're lowering lowering the resale value of everything Reggie you know we don't like to listen Look at this light. So ominous. Now this has to be important. So that's important? What does it say? So, twins, I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those... Havo... Rancheros? I don't know. I'm guessing it's food. Rancheros aren't sitting right. I'm gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Pulveros? Pulveros? It doesn't look like a bee, so it doesn't look like it's habanero. I have no idea. If you know what it is, what it what it's saying, leave a comment. Let me know what it's saying, because I'm I I must be not reading cursive correctly. <laughs> I did see a magazine in the bathroom. There's a wrench. I feel like we're gonna need this wrench. Oh, that's cool. Right, I think I saw it in here, right? Maybe not. Wasn't it in here? Oh no, it was in this one. This looks useful. Lock myself in here? No, I cannot. Alright. Alright. I'm guessing this is what I need, so shut this. Or not. Shut it. I... Oh my god, these doors. Who invented these doors? What do I do with this now? Place item in the tray? What tray? What tray? What tray am I putting it on? I don't see a tray. Is 
this a tray? Oh, okay, okay. Here. Boop. There we go. Alright, so... Am I supposed to hotwire the car? You find anything? Yeah, yeah I found this. I found a this magazine about magazine. hotwiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, I'm not ready. I, 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 this is the one thing I, I suck at anything that has to do with cars. I have no idea. Like, okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I'm not ready. I didn't even read it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this is not going to be Color on line one. Thanks, oh, Peggy. God. We're back with 189.16, The driver. Scream. Okay. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Okay, a uh, screwdriver? For the screwdriver. Uh, uh, the steering column? Put the screwdriver in the ignition okay. and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Here, okay, remove the screwdriver. Uh, um, uh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Uh, unscrew the steering column cover. Unscrew the steering column. Okay. Alright. Just turn. Check the serial number. One, two, one, two. <laughs> okay. We got this. We got this. Okay. How long are these screws? They're okay. pretty long. Covers off. Look, there's a bunch of wires down here. I'll okay. Get it up and... Oh god, my heart is pumping. Uh, then okay. Uh, 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 uh you're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. We can do this. You can do this. You can do this. A red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and. A brown wire. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's not timed. Okay. Um, all right. So if there is a four before three and number seven and the number red and blue, if there is a six, okay. Uh, what's the serial number on the steering column? The number is five, seven, six, eight, nine, four, three, two, zero. Ah! Okay. If there's a four, four, a three and a seven? Oh god, I don't know! Okay, wait, okay, okay, okay. Sandra says the serial number is five, seven, six. Okay. So, if there is a four before a three. Okay, there is a four before a three. Um. And a number seven, which it's not. Okay. Okay, uh... Don't respond when I'm prompt for 30 seconds? I- I'm trying to figure this out, guys! I'm really trying. Okay. If there is a 6 anywhere and doesn't start with a 5... Okay. Green and brown. If there is a 0 at the end... Okay, there is a 0 at the end. And a 3... Doesn't... And a 3 doesn't come before... Three doesn't come before six. Red and yellow. Okay, red and yellow. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together the okay. red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, she sounds Perfect. fun. Perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twist. Okay. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. okay. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> yes! Ah, we did it! <laughs> okay, good. work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Woo! <laughs> you just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Yeah, get, get home, home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Whew. Oh, I love the little honk at the end. We did it, Forrest! Yeah! We sure did! Here that comes was, another that, hit track that, wasn't that we're ja excited to share with you. 
And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Woo. Take it away, Forrest. There we go. Now it's time to go with The Flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. <laughs> I still can't believe this is happening. Yeah, this right? is this is really weird. Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Oh. Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Aww. Aww. Peggy, be honest. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy. But it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. <laughs> Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Um... I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After yeah. a while. Yeah, you're nice. Not terrible after a while? Ooh. High <laughs> praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Anyway... I hope the killer is done for the night, and that Leslie gets Oh, he's not soon. done. He's not Me done. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah. yeah. That'd probably be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, 1242. Okay. Caller on line one. Oh, right. Turn that bad boy off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, yeah. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's, that's really good of you. Yeah, that's generous of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. I feel like he's just Sounds doing great, his bro. own advertising. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, but, was yeah, that was that was pretty bad. That uh, was pretty bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that didn't come out great. No. Oh, sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great <laughs> special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Oh, Wait beer and minute. pizza. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For yeah. Peggy, hang that's up on said, him. That's what I said from the beginning. Done. I said that from oh, the beginning. real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, oh. a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud sure. patriot. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Nope. We're done with that. Uh-uh, no. Here, how about this one? The world-famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! Woo! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest oh, no. Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, good. Can Jam, Jams, yep. Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. 
Brian. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bob and firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seats, bitten, what sand, don't they have? Cramming, and cat shop. Well, that sounds like a rootin' tootin' good time. And fake tattoo face paint and oh, puppets, God. petting he zoo, just keeps going. and maze maze, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, oh, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot it dog just eating continues. contest, it just keeps flower going. contest, and of course our famous What's wrong with the flower measure contest? off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Mm, 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 mm. I can see why it's world famous. Yeah. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the We're show. Back we on have the a air. Note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Welcome to the Scream with me. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Okay. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? Um... God, another one? I am 911. I am 911. At least, at for, least tonight, for the night. Anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Oof. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. No. no. We're live on the air. We're live on the air. <laughs> Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. Yeah. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Oh. I don't think it's a team. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. I don't know. They didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. He's inside? But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? Oh, no. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Okay. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Think you can take the whistling man? No. Can Maurice, you get out of there? is there any way you can get out of there? Ah. I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Okay. He's blocking the stairs. I'm oh, guessing no. the stairs are the only way out. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh -huh. Of course and they would be. it would take be. me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? Hmm. All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Yeah. In different rooms with okay. different extensions. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're so putting we down. So call one of them. Draw the killer away. Okay. And by oh yes. And by Marie's time. Yeah. That could we work. Could, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you. You know, the son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For I that mean, to be successful, what else? You're gonna what need other every options? phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. 
Okay. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. What? Where am I supposed to go? You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Oh, okay. Whew. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Okay. Go check your fax machine. Oh, okay. Don't let me down. Okay. Okay, okay. Fax machine, fax machine. There's still more to do here before I can leave? Wait, what do you mean? Where's my fax machine? It's Go, not... Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. That's Thanks, it... Peggy. Yeah. Get right back. It's... Ah! Uh... I was going there. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Okay. Whoop. And shut the door. No, shut this. Shut this door. Oh my god. Can you shut it? Okay. All right. Um we're going to Take that, and well, we'll put it up here. Maybe, maybe we'll put it up here. Can we put it up here? No. There, perfect. I think a storm is brewing. There we go, okay, all right. We're all set up now, I think. So, oh. Hey, did you get the fax? Uh, yes, I have it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get okay. my fax? Yes. I got it right here. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, no problem. Folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can Wait. help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. I have a thought. Listen, I'll, I'll say it afterwards. Searched every room in the hall, okay. up to the boardroom. Now, he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, um... we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. Okay. So, what extension should I call? Editor's room, maybe? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? The kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not okay. bad, man. All right, all right, all right. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Cubicles. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you? It's your producer I'll be crediting if I make it through this. Uh... The coast is clear. Okay. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Okay. I. Do you think he'll make it okay? It's not I'm over sure yet. I know. Fine. I know that there's more but to now this. Now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. Okay. What yeah. do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh, call incoming. You ready? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Ready as I'll ever be. Exactly. Put him through. <laughs> Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. Oh, God. I, I thought it was going to be the whistling you. man. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Nope. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Right. I can move the furniture out of the way. Not quickly, or quietly. Okay. Can't fight him, uh, maybe play dead. Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? 
Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. You'd oh. be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Hmm. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Okay. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Okay. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Uh, now's not the time, Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Yeah, let's Kids, let's get it we're together, in the Peggy. Big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only okay. the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Right. Oh my God, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call I, the secret I archive know, then? I know. I know it's Can't. not. It's not going to be that archive easy. Archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Yeah. Any ideas, Forrest? Uh. Um. Use a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... Hmm. What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. Work Should radio. Be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Wait, so that doesn't make any sense. We're if I him sent him to the Heck, editor's room, works, we might even save the whole town. Uh, yeah, don't get excited. There's still yet. a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. Right. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, oh call Peggy. incoming from the reporter. You're Putting so it through optimistic. Now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm here. here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm mm. just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. For Hopkins. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. What? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Right. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. Um... But wait! We're the radio! We can just be quiet until you're ready! If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure! 189.16, okay. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? 189.16, The Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only <laughs> phone-in talk show. With me, Force Nash. And me, Peggy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Okay. Where should we send the killer? Uh, let's send the killer to... Call the boardroom. Yeah, the, the extension boardroom. extension zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uh, I don't know. Let me have a think I don't again. know. Okay, hold on. Um, uh, what about... Kitchen? Call the kitchen. The extension is zero two. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Okay. Are you sure? No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm not sure. 
Let me have another think. Let me have a think again. Okay, okay. Uh, the archives? Call the archives. The extension is zero one. The, I'm in the archives! Oh! Uh, Keep well, your head on, man! Or he's gonna cut off mine! Okay, okay, okay. Call the- call the- call the boardroom! Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> there, there's, the no okay. there's no Call other option. There's no other option. Call the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Um... Impersonate Mr. Russell? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. Yeah. What's your Mr. Russell impression? Oh, I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this <laughs> is, Pearl! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. That was Ooh, pretty good. Coming in. Here we go. That was pretty I'm good. Here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Okay. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. Well, that's not I've useful. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. Okay. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. Right. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment is. Kept me alive so far. Oh man. no! <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, uh, hide in your cabinet? Hide, no, hide among the cubicles. If he leaves, uh, it's gonna take him a second. But if he goes into the hallway where uh, the killer is gonna be coming from, they're gonna cross paths. He can't go into the secret archive because how else are you gonna trap the killer? Um, under the desk, he's probably like if if he, he <laughs> if he has a desk like mine and uh, you can see under it, th that's kind of pointless. So the only logical explanation for me is to hide in your cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. <laughs> I Don't hope I'm say right. Anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I didn't, I've been I didn't on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! I'm, like, nervous Listeners, for him. This is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful hey. bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! Uh, frankly, neither can to I. To be honest, I can't believe it either. <laughs> God, it's over. I'll be off now. All right. Gotta get out of here. Whew. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. Yeah. I feel tell them safe that you love them too. For the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll, I'll think, think about, about it. it. <laughs> we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. All right. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes.
Wait, killer tunes. We gotta get some killer tunes. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Killer tunes. You're gonna love this next track. Woo! Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. We are going to stop here, so. All right, well, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification, that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Okay, bye.